Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For today's episode, we will be looking at the question of, does man have the free will to obey God? This question deals with the common misunderstanding that people have about the Word of God. There are many people who believe that man does not have the ability to believe in Jesus Christ until God gives them faith. In other words, that man cannot believe in God himself, but God has to make him believe. There are many people who believe that. The problem is, the Bible just does not teach that. God doesn't force anyone to believe. He is going to condemn all people who do not believe in Him and Jesus Christ, but He is not going to force anyone to believe. That's not what He wants. He wants us to believe in Him. He wants us to obey Him. Not because we are forced to, but because we want to. In Romans chapter 1, uh, in verse uh, 16 and verse 17, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God to salvation to everyone who believes. To everyone. This verse tells us that we can believe. We can believe for ourselves. How do we believe? Is it just God opened our hearts? No, that's not how we believe. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, So faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. When we hear the gospel of Christ, that teaches us how to be saved. We either believe it, or we don't. But we are the ones who believe, or we are the ones who disbelieve. We have the choice, the free will, to make that decision. God does not make the decision for us. God has given us the testimony of His Son. He has given us Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. He has given us Acts to show how the early church was formed out of people who believed and obeyed God. The book of Romans, the book of 1st and 2nd Corinthians, and all of the other epistles, all the way through to the book of Revelation, give us how the church faced problems, how the church was faithful, and what the church needed to do and people needed to do to be pleasing to God. We have that message. We have that message that we can believe in John chapter 20. The book of John, the writer of John, tells us the reason that things, these things were, re, were written down for us. In John chapter 20, verse 31, But these are written that you might believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through His name. That's the reason we have the Bible today. That's the reason we have the Scriptures, so that we can believe. We can believe in what? We can believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. So the question is, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Well, I hope you do, and that you will serve and obey Him. But if you have not, if you do not, the brethren here in Toronto would love to study with you about the Bible and about Jesus Christ, and about the plan of salvation, so that you can hear it, you can believe it, you can obey it, and you can be saved. If you would like to set up a class with us, you can reach us for a study at uh, Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Our hours of service are Sunday at 10 a.m. for Bible study and 11 a.m. for morning worship, as well as Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. for midweek Bible study. I encourage anyone who wishes to come out to come out to any one of these uh, uh, worship periods. You will be welcome, and you will hear what the gospel has to say. If you have any Bible questions, though, that you would like to have answered during this podcast, 
or if you have any general comments about what you have heard today, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to catch up on any episode that you missed, you will find them at www.eastendchurch.org under the daily podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes today that we spent together useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. Please join me tomorrow, Lord willing, when we will be looking at the verse of 1 John chapter 4, verses 20 and 21. Until you listen again, keep searching the scriptures to learn what God wants you to do. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.